So I'm Tracy Gannon and welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays. Today what we'll be covering is the Geography Leave and Cert course. So starting off with the Geography Leave and Cert course, the breakdown of the course is split up into two parts. So you have the field study, which is 20% of the total marks, and your final exam, which is what we're going to go through today. That's worth 80% of your total result. So the exam is broken down into two main parts. So the first section is your short questions. Now with your short questions, you have 10 short questions to answer out of 12. Now what I also would recommend to my students is answer all 12. It only takes an extra minute or two to answer them. Each question is worth eight marks and a total of 80 marks of your paper, which is actually a huge amount because it's 20% of your paper. With that, I would say take no more than 25 minutes to do this section. This section should be the shortest section and you should be able to fly through it. After that, what you have is the second section of your paper, which is your structured and long answer questions, so your essay styles questions. So there's a couple of sections in this. The first section is your physical geography, and what that covers is everything from plate tectonics, rocks, um, weathering, folding and faulting, and loads more topics. And that's always, always, always question one, question two, and question three of your paper. Now, the structure of each of these long questions always stay the same. So, Question one, two, and three, and all the questions from now on will have three parts, a part A, a part B, and a part C, okay? So what you'll do in the day of your exam is you're going to choose either question one, question two, or question three. You can't pick and choose from each of them. So let's just say I choose question number one. I have to do the entire sheet of that question, which is a part A, a part B, and a part C. Now your part A is at 20 marks, okay? So 20 marks, it's a kind of a short answer, kind of similar to your short questions with a number of parts in it. It could be something like drawing an ordnance survey map, okay? Part B and part C is your essay questions. Now, what people get really, really stuck on here is actually their timing. So 20 marks, I would be saying no more for five minutes than five minutes, particularly if you're looking for your H1 or H2. Part B and part C, 30 marks each, 15 minutes, no longer in this section, okay? So part A again, it's gonna be a short type of answer question, no more than five minutes. Part B, part C, both essay style questions, no more than 15 minutes. If you spend longer than 15 minutes on these sections, these sections are only worth around 6% of your paper, so you don't want to spend more than 15 minutes each on them. Moving on to the next section is your regional geography. So question four, five, and six, is your regional geography. And again, you choose one question. So I could choose question five. If I choose question five, I have to complete the entirety of that question, okay? Don't be fooled, someone always does it. You can't pick and choose from each question. You have to pick question five and do that entire question. So you have a part A, part B, and C. Again, it's quite similar to the previous question. A is worth 20 marks, B is 30, and C is 30. So again, it's the same structure. So five minutes, 15 minutes, and 15 minutes. Now, in your regional geography, what you'll do is you'll study both core and peripheral regions from Ireland, Europe, so the Mediterranean and Paris Basin, and more than likely a subcontinent in either, either India or Brazil. So then you'll study a few more little elective regions, such as cultural regions, geomorphological regions, and so on, okay? So the next section of the paper is actually a choice. So it's your elective section. So either you choose economic or human environment in this section. So you choose one, for example, if I was doing human environment, that means that I can swipe out questions seven, eight, and nine of my exam paper. You do one or the other. Don't, don't make the mistake of trying to study both, okay? You're gonna waste your time, you get an option. So for example, the human environment section is a section on things like population, overpopulation, migration, and other topics, actually a lot of the topics that you'll see covered at Junior Search Geography. So this is question 10, 11 and 12, and again, what you do is you choose one. For example, question 11. Again, part A, 20 marks, five minutes, part B, 30 marks, 15 minutes, and part C, 30 marks, 15 minutes. Now, one thing that I should mention that I sh haven't mentioned before is that your part B and part C are very, very, I suppose, they're marked always the same. So in these sections here, what you need to make sure is that you have 15 SRPs. Now, SRPs are your significant relevant points. 
So what I like to say is it's kind of like two factual sentences. It doesn't have to be two sentences, but two facts. So for example, limestone is a sedimentary rock and it is found in the Burning County Clare. So two facts, so limestone sedimentary and the fact it's found in the Burning County Clare would be a fact. So each of these sections need 15 SRPs. So when people are asking me, you know, how many pages do I actually need to write? It really doesn't matter as long as you have your 15 SRPs. Some students will be able to get that in under an A4 page, some might take a little bit more, okay? So 15 SRPs for each of them. Now, again, this total section is worth 80 marks and like each other section, it's 20% of the total paper. Now, the last section here is your optional section and this is a section that only higher level students actually study. You have global interdependence, geoecology, which is definitely the most popular for students to study, culture and identity, and the atmosphere. And what you do is you choose one of them topics, okay? So you choose one and you just do that one. You don't study all four, okay? So for example, I might say, I'm doing geoecology, which is definitely the most popular, definitely the nicest question to actually answer in the exam. And that's all those questions 16, 17, and, or 18, and you choose one. Now, what these questions will ask you about is either soils, so students who do agricultural science will have a huge advantage there, and also biomes, so looking at things like your rainforest, your desert biomes, okay? Lovely, lovely question, and you answer one of these, so either 16, 17, or 18. And again, that's an essay style question. So say I pick number 17, okay? That I like that question, maybe characteristics of a biome. And what it is, is that is an essay question worth a total of 80 marks, okay? So that one essay is worth 80 marks, which again, is 20% of your paper, okay? So remember, 20% of your paper is here, so it's a huge, huge amount. And what you'll actually find is that students normally will cover, I suppose, about four A4 pages if they're getting their full marks. Now this, remember, it needs to be factual sentences. It can't be wishy-washy, okay? So you really need to know your stuff there. Now a huge tip I would give after going through the whole paper, remember the paper is 80% of your total amount of marks, Remember, your short questions is worth 20% of your paper, your due ecology is worth 20% of your paper, so them two sections without doing any of these other essays is actually 40% of your paper. So really what I would be saying is due ecology is normally left to the end of the year to actually study, so the end of sixth year, but it's good to get a head start on that because it is 20% in total. So that's an overview of the Leaving Cert Higher Level Geography paper and I hope you get on very well.